everyone, this is Janos Makula, member of Spellbinder's design team. In this video I'm going to show you how to create elegant card with one-of-a-kind die-cut background using Spellbinder's ferns and leaves dies as well as Savoy label dies and Savoy decorative elements. I'll also be using the A2 Mating Basics B die set templates in this project. So let's get started. First I'm going to create a watercolored background to die-cut my leaves from. I'm using regular watercolor paper and watercolors and simply adding yellow, orange, red, green and brown colors onto this paper to create an easy watercolor background. There is no right or wrong way to do it, you simply add desired colors onto your paper and let it dry. Don't worry if your watercolor piece doesn't look very pretty, it's going to look beautiful once we cut it using our fern and leaf dyes. So once our background is dry, go ahead and die cut several leaves for your project. You're going to need quite a few elements to cover the entire background of an A2 card, so make sure to cut enough. Place your dies onto your watercolor piece, tape in place and cut them in your die cutting machine. I'm using Spellbinder's Platinum die cutting and embossing machine and simply cutting those elements out. There's no need to emboss them. Use your tool in one to help you get all the die cut pieces out of your die and set them aside. Get a white cardstock panel for your card and plan how you want to arrange your die cut pieces to create a background. We're going to adhere each piece individually to create a beautiful one of a kind watercolor piece for this project. There are several ways you can adhere these onto your background. I'm going to use a sticker maker and we'll turn each of those die cut pieces into a little sticker. You can also use glue for this or adhesive sheets. So once all of those pieces have been adhered and notice how I also incorporated several gold leaves onto this background, go ahead and use an A2 Mitting Basics B die number 7, the largest die, and trim this panel as well as the leaves down to create a smaller panel for your card. Now this background ended up looking rather vibrant and colorful, so we need to mute it to be able to add a sentiment on top. You can always use vellum to mute bright colors on your projects. Here I'm die cutting a smaller panel out of vellum and I'm going to add it onto my background. I'm using die number 6, the second largest die from the A2 Mating Basics B set to cut this piece. I'm also going to die cut a Savoy label out of white cardstock and emboss it to create a placeholder for my sentiment. I've also die cut a beautiful Savoy decorative element out of gold cardstock and I'm going to turn it into a frame by using a smaller matching die from the Savoy set and also use the same smaller label to die cut a piece out of white cardstock. I'm embossing all of these to add a little bit of detail and dimension and I'm going to heat emboss a simple hug sentiment using gold embossing powder onto the smallest label and use it as a sentiment for my card. Let's put this project together. I've already adhered vellum panel onto my watercolor panel and added some champagne ribbon and now I'm using foam adhesive to adhere the larger white label onto my card. I'm going to adhere the gold die cut on top and finally add the small white label with a sentiment on top of that. I'm using foam adhesive for all of these pieces to create some additional interest and dimension for this project. Finally I'm going to add a ribbon bow and adhere this panel onto an A2 top folding card base created out of white cardstock. So here's a look at my card created using Savoy labels as well as Savoy decorative elements and ferns and leaves dies. I hope this video has given you some ideas as to how you can use smaller die cuts to create beautiful and unique backgrounds for your projects. If you have any questions about this project, please leave them in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to Spellbinder's YouTube channel for more education and inspiration. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you next time, bye!